Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about IT and competency or requirements. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, well technically this is a four-parter, so let's just walk through the list. I, the question was, hi Frederick, how from your perspective does the, uh, the needs of IT look right now and how is it going to look in the future? So my Swedish to English skills are not uh, strong enough to give you, to, I'll rephrase this a little bit. So basically the question is what type of thing, like what, what should you, like what are people investing in right now um, and what's going to be the, the thing that is going to be useful for the long haul, long term. So I wrote back to this person who reached out on LinkedIn I think and I kind of I said that so short term like this the thing is now whatever I say to you now is going to be that there's going to be I, I have to make something clear before I say anything we have to agree on something and that is the difference between things that are trendy or like that is popular because that's the thing that's going to come up in the next and things that are very relevant right now because if let's say because one of the things I said to this person was SBAs single page applications are a very big thing or it's something like right here right now if you do not know how to work with these things you uh, you should be aware of them if you have any ambitions to work in web whatsoever unless you're going to be a strict back-end developer but basically uh, that that is the that is the thing and the then there's going to be people who are going to tell you that yeah but WebAssembly that is uh, so so here and so now and I kind of go no it's not and that's not because I don't like WebAssembly and it's not because I don't think WebAssembly has a shot I'm saying that if you search for opportunities related to WebAssembly right there right now it's going to be a very sad story for you it's going to be about the uh, roughly the same feeling I get when I try uh, when I want to find a job working with Rust in web. It's about the same. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the people who want to do professional grade Haskell development feels sort of the same way. At least if they're in my region. So we have to understand that there is uh, the, like the, I can't give you like your perfect answer to this I'm just gonna answer this from the perspective okay this is the stuff that people are hiring just r r like right now and these are things that we are moving in towards so short term the most important roles that you can fill in IT are to be an application developer it is the hottest thing there is no it's not machine learning I promise you it's not machine learning if you there like, because that's the thing right everything is hot depending on what you do but if you look at the vast quantity of people who are doing that thing and the demand like the just quantitative demand for the thing you will see hopefully what and you can go and check this on stack overflows uh, reports if you want the in-demand thing is back-end developers front-end developers full stack developers in general if we talk about just the, for the vast majority if we're talking web related uh, technologies and so forth there is absolutely a trend uh, if we're talking trends overall uh, that is f showing that yes machine learning and data science and so forth is relevant and there are many jobs out there for data scientists and so forth this is the thing that I try to make as clear as I can just because something is the most popular thing and something is the second most popular thing that does not mean that that is a bad thing it doesn't mean that oh yeah there's a million jobs for the big thing and there's two jobs for the little thing or for the thing that is in second place that's not the case but from my perspective, short term, if you're in uh, the IT industry is right now trying to in uh, is like just mass hiring people who have application development skills overall. The long term thing, the thing that we're moving towards uh, is in, and this is, I mean, it's really early stage still, I would say, and this has been going on for a few years, and I think it is simply because the transition is taking so long uh, for the industry to get into this thing and we're kind of defining what it means but uh, things such as SREs or site reliability engineering and DevOps related roles are 
I would say like I, I'm I'm kind of using them ambiguously and interchangeable in an interchangeable way here because it's such a big concept what DevOps is all about. Now ops has been around for quite some time, but it becomes even more and more important now where everything is moving toward cloud-based solutions and with the enormous explosion of Kubernetes and Docker and similar sorts of technology, and not just that, I mean, we're talking about uh, infrastructure as code, CI and CD workflows and agile practices, all of this kind of just becomes this perfect storm of, uh, of concepts and requirements related to cloud computing and related to operations in some way. So that is where it's heading. There, it's still it's happening right here, right now. So it's not like it's a bad investment to do it short, uh, short term, but it's going to be an, a, a even bigger thing. And the same thing goes for security. So the more connected we get, and especially in the IoT space, I can tell you that much. Uh, the bigger the surface area gets for exploits and security breaches. I don't think we've, I guess it's never been in uh, more relevant than to, uh, than these days and it's just increasing uh, with security uh, related uh, comp uh, competencies and education and so forth. I'm not necessarily saying that you have to be a pen tester or things like that, but this, this sort of stuff is becoming more and more relevant. Uh, it's not uh, it's not the thing that is I mean if you, you you can absolutely get a job doing that today but what I'm saying is that long term uh, I I actually see the the increase of uh, the, the, the I see the industry needing it more and more and I don't think that's gonna go away in many cases I will say uh, honestly I would not be surprised if we get to a point within the next 10 years where it becomes semi uh, semi required for for IT companies to hire in the same way they hire a QA type of person they would hire someone who works as a pen tester or something similar like that and I mean there are some companies who pioneer this thing and kind of do it does it today I and in many cases you have consultancies that's the most popular thing in security right now where you hire consultants to do like audits and things like that uh, but I think that it's going to continue growing uh, so I would say that that's the answer that I can give you to this first part of the question. So what I want you to take away from this is that short term, the thing that uh, the IT, do in IT industry is looking for the most within the engineering space is application developers. And the reason is very simple. Application development is the thing that makes you money. It's the thing that invents the new thing that everybody's going to buy from you, or the, where you're going to make all all the thing. You know, yeah, that's the code. That's the business logic. All of that stuff, and that means front end, back end, and full stack developers. And that's been the case for quite some years, and I don't see that going away, probably ever, ever. I would say that on it's 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 going to be the short term investment and the long term investment, if you at least if you ask me. Uh, Long-term investments or things that are coming up that I think is going to get more and more and more relevant is operations related roles, every, everything related to DevOps uh, and uh, cloud solutions, similar sorts of things like that. Uh, it's big today, but it's really just getting started. I think it's going to go, uh, go even further than that. And security. Uh, DevSecOps is a term that some people are throwing around. Honestly, people are making up new terms every other day. Everything is an ops something or some flavor of, of it. So uh, I think that's the next thing. There are a lot of roles in the security space today, but I think it's going to just continue growing, especially uh, considering that we are basically breaking new ground in like it, the applications are just growing and growing and growing and the systems are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we're now inventing new, completely new ways of working such as say kubernetes and microservices and so forth that increases the attack surface enormously and we need to f we, i promise you there's so much to do in the security space if you want to get into that space have a great day